Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 61. I'm going to read verses 1 through 3. Let this bless your heart. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Listen, a lot of times we don't realize what Jesus came to do in our lives. We don't always understand the goal God has in his heart, the plans he has for us. But let me tell you this, from a person of experience, I know what it feels like to feel empty. I know what it feels like to feel worthless. I know the emptiness that drives you to seek love in all the wrong places, that drives you to seek people's approval, people's acceptance of you, because you feel unacceptable. There is a, a lie that will happen in your spirit sometimes. It, it happened in mine. As a little girl, and I was a cute little girl, I really was convinced that I was the ugliest child in the whole school. When you are put down, when you're made fun of, when you are belittled and teased and jeered at and, and rejected, you get to the point where you start to believe something's wrong with me. You believe something's wrong with you. We, you. we go through life limping, limping over our own insecurities. We feel bound. We can't just let ourselves be free because we don't think that people even want to be bothered. So we hold back and we tie ourselves up in knots and we don't realize how bound, how choked, how withered we're living our lives. So I say this to all of you who have not yet experienced the freedom God's love gives, the healing God's touch gives. But I am here to tell you, no matter what hurts you're living with now, you do not have to live the rest of your life accompanied by those hurts. You do not have to be haunted by those negative words that have been spoken over you repeatedly as a child. You do not have to live your life through the pain from open runny wounds of inflicted, inflicted holes in your soul that other people have done to you. You don't have to be a victim anymore. You don't have to be a prisoner in your own cell any longer because Jesus will set you free like he set me free. He loves you and me with a, a, an everlasting love. He didn't die on the cross just to forgive us for sins. He took all those stripes and the punishment and the abuse and the humiliation and the pain on his back and his body and his whole emotional thing. Jesus paid the price. He took all that to deliver us from everything that you heard in those three verses. He heals. He heals bodies. He heals minds, 
hearts, emotions, broken spirits. He heals. He frees. He, when he touches you, he's not touching you as something that's disgusting like people will do. People will make you feel like, like you're something that the cat dragged in. He'll, people will make you feel like you're so worthless and, and, oh, nobody wants to touch you. But God's love is holy. And as righteous as God is, he is the very one that will reach in to your infection, that will reach into your stench, that will reach into your filthy shame, and will bring you out with his love, tenderly, kindly, sweetly, patiently. Invite him in. You will see what I mean. Invite him into your heart. You will begin to see the wounds disappearing. You will see yourself grow in ways you never thought you could grow. You will even find new gifts and abilities blossoming into your life. You will find a new self-esteem, a new love for yourself as God showers you with his. Let Jesus into your heart. Invite him in. Ask the Holy Spirit to empower you to be all you can be and to get all you can get from God. And see. Just wait and see. You'll be amazed at yourself. God bless you. Be encouraged.